I'm Jeff Dixon, president of Tote Services, and we're thrilled to have you witness the cutting of steel for the first national security multi-mission vessel. This event represents the first of many milestones in a shipbuilding program that will help deliver a next generation training fleet supporting five state maritime academies located around the country. The National Security Multi-Mission Vessel Program is a significant investment in the U.S. maritime industry, made possible by the leadership at MARAD and the widespread bipartisan and bicameral support it has received in Congress. To each of you and the stakeholders you represent, we thank you. We're honored to have been selected by MARAD to be the Vessel Construction Manager for this exciting and historic program, which will leverage Tote Services' experiences in utilizing best practices in commercial shipbuilding. The vessel construction management contract we have executed with MARAD demonstrates a new acquisition process where the government benefits from commercial best practices in design and construction. As an industry leader in vessel services, ship management, and marine operations, Tote Services will oversee construction of these new vessels, which will support a strong U.S. maritime fleet crewed by the world's best trained merchant mariners. Admiral Busby, we are committed to the clear vision you have laid out for the NSMV program, on schedule, on cost, and as designed. Thank you for joining us today. Over to you, Admiral Busby. For more than a decade, MARAD has been working with presidents and Congress to deliver a purpose-built, state-of-the-art training vessel to serve America's state maritime academies. Today, the cutting of steel at Philly Shipyard, we've started on our way to delivering the, with the state class national security multi-mission vessel. It took a lot of work by the leaders of our state maritime academies, by MARAD, with bipartisan support in Congress, and in particular, the leadership of U.S. Secretary of Transportation, Elaine L. Chow, to get it done. State maritime academies will finally get the school ship they deserve will strengthen America's industrial base and directly support more than 1,200 shipyard jobs in Philadelphia. Preparing future mariners for today's careers at sea requires modern training vessels. Accordingly, the NSMV features numerous convertible instructional spaces, a dedicated training bridge, and accommodations for up to 600 cadets train in a first-rate maritime academic environment at sea. In addition, the NSMV can better support disaster relief operations than the old training ships with its modern hospital facilities, helicopter pad, import accommodations for up to 1,000 people, and roll-on, roll-off ramp and container storage capacity. Today, we mark a significant milestone in U.S. maritime education and the U.S. maritime history. I don't want to applaud everyone who has helped this day come to pass. Now let's cut some steel. Thank you, Admiral Busby. And let me extend a virtual welcome to all who are viewing this event at Marad and elsewhere. It is truly an honor for Philly Shipyard and our tremendous workforce to be building these ships for Marad. I always say every day is a great day for a shipbuilder. And today is an exceptionally great day to be a shipbuilder in Philly. I also want to recognize my other teammate in this program, Jeff Dixon and Toad Services, which will be serving as Marad's vessel construction manager and our client. Marad's approach to this program is innovative and, I believe, a first for a government program. We are all committed to the success of this program and demonstrating that this unique approach to contracting can produce high quality ships in a cost-effective way. I would be remiss if I did not also recognize the unwavering support we have received from Jimmy Hart, President of the International Metal Trades Union, and our local union president, Lou Hager. We are fortunate to have them representing the men and women who work in our shipyard. Today is the first of many significant milestones in the training ship program. While steel cutting is part of every ship construction project, this is particularly more significant because the ship represents a number of firsts for Philly Shipyard and Morad. 
The NSMV is the first all-new vessel designed by Admiral Busby and his team at Marad in many decades. And uh, speaking as a lifelong shipbuilder, the NSMV is a terrific design. Finally, the NSMV is the first ship we are building that will be part of the government fleet, which begins a new chapter for Philly Shipyard. The first cut of steel is like sounding a horn at the start of a race. From this day forward, the training ship program will be in active production. Our workforce will build these spectacular ships. We will once again have more than 1,200 of the best ship builders in America coming through our gates every day. So if you please, join me now up to the production areas and we will cut the first steel plate. Okay, welcome everybody. We are now out in the production areas and we are where we are cutting the first steel plate on the first training ship. And this machine behind me is called the C5 plasma cutting machine. And soon it will be 5,000 degrees cutting the first steel plate on the first training ship for many, many, many years. So this is a fantastic day for us. The plasma arc burns at over 5,000 degrees and the computer precise controls allows the cut to be done in a precise and accurate way, producing a piece with unparalleled quality and specific tolerances. And this quality is seen in each of the 30 ships we have built. After this piece is cut, it will be transported to assembly line and welded to other pieces into the first building block that will be the ship's keel. Thank you all for your virtual attendance and just about a year from now we will be holding the keel laying ceremony and I hope we can honor that event in a more personal and traditional way. And in the meantime we will be providing periodic updates as the first and the second training ship grows from a single piece of steel cut today into the magnificent ships they will become.